It's Heather here. I'm out on the Potomac River and my mind is absolutely blown. Not, I didn't just find a bone. I found part of a freaking skeleton. I am going crazy here. This is just insane. That right there is a little piece of seashell wedged in between. There's another one right there. Oh, I gotta get out of my shadow here. There's another one there. There's a little tiny piece here. And this is probably all I'm gonna be able to get home. Unfortunately. A little souvenir to tell the tale, but oh my god, I don't know what we're going to do, but I definitely need to let the local Paleo Patrol know that it's here, because they're going to want to look at this. There's another piece there. You can see this one's got, oh, I just slipped, a lot more depth to it. The others were mostly eroded away. Eroded out and fell into the water, hard to say, but this stuff is really, really soft. I scratched it with my fingernail and it just wiped off the, bird, off the clay. So um, whatever I'm taking is getting lots of paleo bond on site, so it makes it five feet. And here's another piece right here. I just heard from paleo tr trolls said, yeah, actually they find a lot of this stuff out here. So. Um, I guess I get to just get to figure out what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> if I can do anything with it. Okay, it's getting close to the end of the day here, and I'm going to make a last ditch because this might be the last time this stuff is out on the water. It doesn't look terribly water-worn now, but the, boat, the tide is supposed to be a foot higher tomorrow, so I'm doing my best. What I did was I sent my husband out to the hardware store and got some braided, this is, uh, picture frame wire from the hardware store and a couple of carabiners. I have glued the top where the bones are up here so that they will hopefully not crack and I'm going to be very gently sawing through this with my wire and it is coming through so we'll see what happens. This is really hard work. I am out of breath. Okay, so this rock defeated me on the beach. You can see, yes, you can see that I actually cut three quarters of the way through the rock with the wire. It did a good job. It was really fast. But the clay filling in right behind it and now the wire is just permanently encased in the rock and it shredded. You can see the wire is shredded right there. Hard to see. But with some patience at home, I'll get this out. I actually managed to, man I'm out of breath carry this thing in my arms half a mile up the beach around the trees that were falling on the beach across the mud flat to the picnic area to the van i'm white